goodbye to Nissan. Our story with Nissan will soon look like this. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome, welcome you after uh, quite a break, quite a break from uh, uploading the vlogs like we're coming back to them right now. We've been uploading a few of the recent uh, race videos but since the season is over we are still full of emotions after the end, after the final round when, where we managed to defend the championship title. So very happy about that but this video is about something else, it's something new and something what we will be watching for the next good few episodes I, I hope and I cannot wait for the final outcome because we are uh, building a new machine, a totally new project and I will try to present it to you uh, through my lovely camera with my new equipment. We will try to make it look better and sound better thanks to this my new fluffy friend. Uh, and but, but coming back, coming back to the main topic of today's video which is the new project, new car. Since I started drifting, uh, it was like 11, 12, 12 years maybe even ago, uh, we've been always faithful to Nissan. It was always Nissan, Nissan, Nissan. Even if anybody were trying to tell me about any other chassis, maybe you will try be a Nissan, Nissan. It was always only Nissan. Nissan was the only thing what matters. So that's why in this video we are actually saying goodbye. It looks like it will be over, over for good, but maybe not, but hopefully, you never know. Without further ado, let's welcome the 2023 Worthouse Prospect Drift Machine, which is Toyota Supra. so excited about this vehicle especially because we always have a romance with Toyota underneath the hood of our machines now we'll have a full Toyota car with Toyota engine in our hands for now it is a four cylinder two liter Toyota Supra which actually is brand new and uh, because of uh, in what shape it is, everything is brand new with this car, including even the cover for the seats. It is a zero mileage car, so everything what you can see will be soon available on the market for sale. So if you are looking for a Toyota Supra parts, I will happily supply them for you. <laughs> Taking this back to the trailer and we will be stripping the car and checking what can we use, what we should get rid of and yeah, have the first uh, clue and first idea how this thing should look like in the end. So guys, let's go and move this machine. Let's go, go, go. Toyota, yeah. Uh, let's not open the hood and see what's underneath there because uh, those things will be gone. But let me focus now on driving out this thing because I would love to keep it new, clean and shady as it is right now. So guys, <laughs> see you in a second when we'll be taking it on the lift.
So guys, we have lost a few kilograms. Definitely, mainly because I cut my hair. And also we remove uh, a lot of things which resemble Supra that now it's hard to say what the car it is. Here we got a beautiful two liter engine with the gearbox attached. Somewhere there we have a lot of other parts which uh, we will be now getting away because uh, it took us a bit of time to remove all of them because we want to be as careful, mainly Roman, with his experience with OEM cars. He removed all the bits and parts uh, very carefully so they are brand new and ready to find the new owner. What's left is the aluminum subframe uh, front steering rack, which I'm not sure if we will be using because this is fully electrically supported. We got the wiring loom mainly because of the rear uh, hatch, which has this little loom attached here, which goes underneath this plastic. It doesn't have any connection, anything on a way, so it's impossible to disconnect it without getting rid of this plastic panel and we don't know how to remove this to be honest without damaging it. So it will go like it is right now with the loom to Gelo's place to Lublin where he will gonna figure out all the shapes which we want to keep and all the shapes that we want to get rid of. And there will be definitely a lot of both. This is the end of the story of this Supra in this place because tomorrow we'll put it on the trailer and go straight to Lublin with it and a few other bits probably like those little ones oh yes 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 oh they're not little actually those are one of the biggest headlights that I ever grabbed my hand probably but I didn't grab many in my life so next thing we'll see this car being cut, scratched, removed parts, added parts, definitely in a different shape. So guys, fingers crossed that this is gonna be reassembling car again very soon. But before that, we'll have a few more other episodes, which I am already welcoming you to join to this journey. But for now, it's over guys. Surprising pieces. <laughs> we'll see what's gonna be next with it. Take care, see you in the next one.